What's the worst punishment you ever received as a child? My mom found out my sister was suicidal, so she locked my sister in her room with literally nothing but a blanket and maybe an air mattress. She was only let out to use the restroom. Food and clothes were brought up to her, and then taken, when she was finished. My mom told me about this, when I was about 8 or 9. I'm 19 now, and I have never, and will never tell her about any of my mental health issues for fear of my life. My grandparents beating my mother in front of me for me talking to her. I was in their custody and my mother was an addict who they didn't want around, and she kept trying to call and come see me. So she came over, and my grandparents beat her, broke her jaw and nose, and said it was my fault for talking to her. I was 7. When I was around 6 years old, my stepdad woke me up in the night by pulling me out of the bed and yelling that I had got piss on the toilet seat. He took me out on the front porch, and while he was paddling me, the rail I was bracing against broke, and I fell off the porch. Beatings will continue until your moral improves in all ducking serious. Life got better, and I never see my dad anymore and him, and my mom ask when I'm having kids, and why I haven't seen them in years despite living probably 30 minutes from them. My mom took everything in my room except a blanket, my radio, books, toys you name it. I was locked in there for the UK summer holidays. They are 6 weeks long. My mum used to beat 10 bells of crap out of, but being locked in that room the whole summer was probably the worst. My dad holding me up by grabbing my ear and my foot. In the 1980s, my father was a radioman and often had spare parts lying around. Whenever I was rebellious toward him, he was fond of whipping my bare back with metal radio antenna. When I was 8 years old, I had every dish in the house thrown at me including a loaf of bread. I was then locked outside till midnight. I was first put out in the morning. The pointless ones. We had landscaping rocks in our yard from an unfinished project. They were probably 30 pounds each. After a number of other punishments failed, my parents came up with the move rocks punishment. I'd have to move 30 or so of these rocks 50 yards. Set them up into a particular shape. Square. Circle. ETC. Have my parents check them, and then move them all back. The pointlessness of it all was the worst. My mom pulled down my pants, and hit me with the brush side of a hairbrush. In front of my three fellow five year old friends. I was innocent. She didn't believe me. Got put on restriction for 6 months for doing something my mom said I could do, but then she said she never gave me permission to do, even though another adult was sitting there, and confirmed he heard her give me permission to do it, but also had to pick up all the rocks in the vacant lot next to our house, and put them in a pile on weekends as part of the punishment. Hands tied behind my back with a belt, so I couldn't cover myself, and then beat about the face. Neck and shoulders with another belt for several minutes. Dad was a real piece of crap. Edit. Thanks for the kind words. Life got better. An ass whooping from dad. That his grip and my trying to run. Broke my arm. Bamboo feather duster to the butt. It's basically caning. Probably getting strangled by my dad. After I stormed away from the dinner table. While yelling that I hated eating with my parents. Because all they did was yell, and curse at one another. Not me but one of my siblings. We were quite young, and they didn't want to finish all the food on their plate. So my stepdad duct taped them to the dining room chair, and wouldn't let them out until they finished. My uncle would have me stand tipos, and hold books. Not too bad. Then I have to stand on my toes. Then he would put nails sticking up under my heels. He would dare me to relax at it. On a related to my uncle note, he also chased me and my cousin, his own child, with a BB gun, and shot at us. He eventually hit my cousin in the eye. The BB got stuck on his eyelid. So thankfully, there was very minimal damage to his eyeball. Some guy my mom brought home, that she was dating, got really drunk, and took me in the bathroom, and beat me with a belt. He said it would be 20 licks. But he was so drunk he kept losing count. I tried crawling behind the toilet for protection but couldn't fit. That just made him more angry. 
I tried not to cry, because I learned they enjoyed that. But I couldn't help it. I don't remember anything after that. Not sure if that's the worst. But that one came to mind. I was in kindergarten, and I had peed myself, because I was having too much fun watching a movie in class. The teacher put me in the bathroom with the lights out, and all closed for the rest of the movie, 45 minutes or so. And it was storming really badly outside. I'm still afraid of the dark and loud noises. 7 years old. I wouldn't move my hands from my, but so my mom dragged me to the bathroom. While there she lifted me up by my legs, and attempted to give me a swirly. My hands immediately latched onto the toilet bowl, to stop my head from falling in. Then my mom freed up one of her hands to turn my ass red. After a few hits my arms gave out, and my head dropped hard into the toilet water. After that she yelled at me for 5 more minutes, and ordered me to take a shower. She still denies doing this or any of the other corporal punishment my sister and I were subjected to. Made to drink distilled vine gar. It was probably from ages 5 to 10 that my parents used it as punishment. They would rotate between spanking slash whipping our asses with the leather swatches or the branches of our beloved willow tree. Putting us in corners for extended periods of time. If we cried or complained. 20 minutes doubled to 40 and so on. Old fashioned soap. And the god forbidden vine gar. I still have major teeth and jaw problems at 22. And my stomach slash esophagus has never felt normal. Either the cigarette burns to my scalp or the days without food because I misbehaved. My parents were. And still are. Meth addicts. Duck them. At Catholic school with nuns as teachers. Those witches were doing the devil's work. I remember being forced to kneel on hardwood floors on popcorn kernels. While saying the rosary. Duck you. Sister Mary Joan. You evil witch. Probably when my mom spanked me with the back of her favorite hairbrush. Then the hairbrush broke, and I got spanked some more, because that was her favorite hairbrush. In grade 10. In my part of the world. Grade 10 was the first year of high school. I got an 80% on my Christmas French exam and, as punishment, I wasn't allowed out of the house on school nights for the rest of high school. My stepbrother punched me in the face, and gave me a bloody lip. My stepmother decided as a punishment she would hit us both with a belt. I don't know why I was in trouble for getting punched. But she held onto the end of the belt with the holes, and swung the belt buckle at us. It hit the back of my right hand, and I still feel the pain in the back of my hand when I squeeze something with it. I got punished for getting punched in the face. I still don't understand what I did wrong 23 years later. My parents home showed me in my last year of school, because I had a boyfriend. Lost my seat and scholarship to the college I had early acception for since the 11th grade. And then took my resp for themselves to go on a cruise, when I went with a different program. Because I didn't have the marks for the original program. It. Prove how many people shouldn't be parents, or near other humans really. My dad once told me that, if I let the word crap cross my lips again, I'd truly have crap cross my lips. I didn't listen, and said it again that night. And he took a piece of fresh dog poop, and made me hold it on my tongue for 30 seconds. I cried, and never cursed again, until I was 21. I told my brother, to duck off and die. I turned around to a 2x4 to the chest then spent 8 hours total picking up tiny ass rocks out of the yard, and putting them in a bucket. When the bucket was full my dad would walk around the yard throwing them around. Then I'd pick them back up again. Edit. For those asking a 2x4 is a piece of wood used in construction. If you were to open up the walls of your house many of you would find 2x4 cut into 8 or 9 feet lengths used to frame your house slash apartment slash dwelling. My sister cheated on a paper. So all four of us lost computer privileges for a month. Collective punishment just isn't effective or fair. Just predicting this thread gonna have a lot of straight up torture in it. So my dad found an old wooden hockey stick that was thrown away. He saw it, and thought it'd make a great weapon to beat us with. He called it Mr. Sticko and he broke over my back for something I did. That one really sucked. Edit. Hey guys. Thank you so much for the well wishes and cake day shoutouts. 
they mean a lot. So my dad and I are actually kind of good. We obviously don't have a great relationship. But growing up in a community where my friends had it just as bad it never seemed weird until I left. I got much needed therapy and anger management to learn how to solve my issues without violence. Thank you again. I grew up with my grandma and I can't exactly remember what I did, but next thing I know she's laying a pile of uncooked rice in the corner to kneel on for 10 minutes. It felt like I was kneeling in a gravel driveway with shard rocks. Forgot about the time she threw me outside in the snow in my boxes and locked the door. I was 8. Honestly, I could withstand almost any punishment, physical or otherwise, pretty well even as a child. It just never bothered me. The worst punishment I received was having my phone, car and laptop taken away for a crime I didn't commit. Basically, my parents found a fifth of expensive scotch whiskey missing from the liquor cabinet and blamed me until about a week later when one of our family friends called thanking them for the gift. They had somehow both completely forgotten all about it. Getting in trouble when I was innocent was what really got to me. My mother cancelled my birthday one year. I was being a mouthy little crap and didn't believe she would follow through once she presented it as a potential consequence for my behavior. It turns out my mother doesn't make empty threats. No gifts received and I had sit there while she called my friend's parents to say the party was off. I think the other mothers were mortified but I got the gifts she sent back a month later for Christmas and I learned a few lessons. Duck this thread is dark. My grandmother locked me inside a bathroom that didn't have any windows so when you turn off the lights it's really pitch black dark. I was about 6 and I couldn't reach the lights. I was kept there I don't know how long I kept on yelling and crying it was really a traumatic experience. I'm 25 now and I still sleep with the lights on. Gee I wonder why. Not as horrible as some of the other comments on here. But one time I told my mom to shut up when I was about 5 or so, and she slapped me on the mouth, causing one of my little baby teeth, which was weakly, to pop out. Can't tell if I was more grateful to get the little crap out of my mouth, or shocked that she slapped me. When I had to choose it, I had a bad progress report in middle school, so I forged my mom's signature on it, got caught. Honestly, the writing was so shaky in my writing is terrible at the jump. Don't know how I thought that was a good shot. When the school called my parents they said they'd talk to me when I got home. They said I had to decide what my punishment was. Obvious trap. Too hard on yourself and that sucks. Too lenient and they come down hard. That choice was worse than the actual punishment. Slapped across the face as a 12 year old girl by my father when I burned Natchez in the microwave. This was the first time he slapped me. So I remember it well. He used to spank me. But switched to open handed slaps to the face when I got too old for spanking. I swore at my mum for teasing me in front of her friends when I was 6. She wouldn't let up and I hated it. As a punishment she grated a bar of soap on my teeth and made me sit facing a corner on the floor without a drink of water for 2 hours. Then sent me to bed without dinner. We don't talk. This thread is like a stroll down not so repressed memory lane. Holy crap I'm sorry for the legit abusive things some of you endured. My sister and I were constantly watching Star Wars and quoting Star Wars and playing with Star Wars toys that it drove my parents to ban all Star Wars related things in the house for 3 months. My mom put me on dog restrictions when I was 8 or so years old. I wasn't allowed to pet, look at, or interact with either of our dogs for 48 hours. I was so upset. I loved my dogs so much. It hurt my feelings so much when they walked over to me and I had to ignore them. Also, getting switched was pretty awful. For those that don't know, a switch is a long thing branch from a willow tree used to spank a child. Talk about leaving some welts on your ass. Woo wee that crap hurt. I can still hear the whistling sound it made as the switch was slicing through the air. My dad had a belt he kept on a nail in the kitchen. If you got in trouble you'd get hit with a number of times. Never seemed to be the same. On your butt. That hurt. Father of three. 
Never used physical discipline on any of my kids. This may sound really low, but it was really hard for me, when I was a child. I was really bad at math, but my mom was really good at it. She graduated valedictorian during her college years. So, every summer, instead of playing with my friends outside, she made me study math. Advanced topics. The whole summer, I became really lonely as she would shout at me, whenever my dumbass couldn't understand a topic and I would always cry. That was the worst punishment I ever received, when I was a child. But now that I'm a teenager, math is still hard for me, but once I listen hard enough to my teacher, I can easily understand everything. My worst punishment was, when I was 13. I went out with my friend, who I've known for years. We went just around my neighborhood and parked nearby for hours. My mom was absolutely pissed about it. I was grounded for 6 months. With no electronic usage. I wasn't allowed to see any of my friends. I was a literal hostage in my own house. I've never felt so alone, and disappointed in myself, and I felt awful for my friend who had to go through that with me. Grounded from Halloween after a couple weeks of neglecting chores, and being caught playing video games under the covers on a school night. A whole neighborhood had a block party and I could hear all the trick or treating from my room. Didn't even score the reject candy after my sisters came home. Either. Most of these aren't punishments. This stuff is child abuse. Had my door taken off the hinges. And all of my belongings. Since bed and dresser taken out of my room. Some got sold. Some tossed. Some given to my younger sibling. This punishment lasted a full 4 months. Just because I dropped from a B to a C in one class in high school. So glad I finally cut them out of my life.